Hey ladies, it's Joe, the Smarter Dating Guy, with another great Smarter Dating tip just for you. Today we've got a question from Michelle, one of our Smarter Dating members. And Michelle writes, Joe, you say go the long haul. It's a marathon that will make the best results for a successful relationship. Well, how and why do men truly want to get to know each other? And what are the things that create the biggest bonds between people and make them want to wake up every day and work on a loving relationship? So there's basically two questions. I'm going to address them each individually. The first is what is it that makes a man, a man and a woman want to truly get to know each other? Well, Michelle and everybody else listening, you must realize is that everybody goes into, the, into a relationship with an agenda. And that agenda may be to create a happy and fulfilling, successful relationship. That, that agenda may be to get laid. You know, let's be honest. It's, you know, it's an agenda for a lot of men and believe it for a lot of women as well. And for some people, they've got nothing better to do. And so their agenda is just simply to have somebody to go to the movies and to do things with. And so the key for you and what will help you is to find a guy whose agenda lines up with yours. See, when I was first dating Natalie, I had an agenda. And so did she. And it was pretty clear from the beginning that our agendas lined up. Then it was simply a matter of figuring out if we were the right person for each other. And that was pretty evident within a couple of weeks, maybe even a couple of months. So the first step is to find a guy whose agenda lines up with yours. And if it doesn't line up with yours, hear my voice, run. Get the hell away because no matter how much you think you're going to change his agenda, no matter how much you think you're going to save him and fix whatever's going on for him, it's not going to happen. I see it every day. And I know it's hard because there's that part of you that thinks it's going to get better, that thinks it's going to change. And sometimes Eve's even saying the right things. But remember this, actions speak louder than words. And his, if his actions aren't consistently showing you that his agenda is in line with yours and he's not giving you the things that you need in order for you to be happy and fulfilled, it's roadrunner time. You know what that is? Beep, beep, shh, and get the hell out of there. Okay, so that's the first question. And so the second question are what are the things that create the biggest bonds between people and make them want to wake up every day and work on a loving relationship? Well, the first thing we got to do is we got to bust this myth about relationships or work. Now, I'm not saying that for some people that they aren't work. Absolutely, they are. But I believe when you pick the right person for the right reasons, it doesn't have to be work. So let me give you a little analogy. There are two ways to get across the river. You can swim with the current or against the current. And I'm sure if you got honest and you took you took a look back at your previous relationships, some of them were you were swimming against the current. It was exhausting, you were putting in a lot of effort, and you never really got to where you wanted to. And even if you did get there, you never got the experience that you really wanted. So those are the relationships that are work. But I know, because I've seen it not only for myself, but a lot of women that I've coached, is that when you pick the right person for the right reason, doesn't have to be work at all. Doesn't mean that there's not going to be some speed bumps in life. There's not going to be some obstacles, but just like going down a river is that you simply navigate around them. And because the two people are committed to the same thing, i.e. they have the same agenda, you get past and over those speed bumps really quick. So what you really want to ask is what really is going to make a man want to stay and invest his time and energy in a relationship with you? See, that's the most important question. Take a step back and really think about it, you know, for yourself and a man as well. What is it that's going to make a person sign up and commit the rest of their life to one person? You know, it's got to be more than just good sex. It's got to be more than we like the same things we like to travel. See, he's got to feel that it's in his best interest now and in the future to be with you. And as long as a man, and I say a man, not a boy, as long as a man feels that it's in his best interest now and in the future to be with you because you make him happier and you make his life better, then he's going to commit to you. Because one of the things I want you to understand is that it's just as frustrating for a guy who's looking for a relationship as it is for a woman. I know you all think it's easier, but trust me on this. Been a guy for over 40 something years, okay? 47 to be exact, is that it's just as difficult for a man who wants a good, 
solid relationship to find that someone special to share his life with. So these are some important questions, but there's a bigger question that Michelle didn't ask. And I think you want to ask, and that is why is the man specifically going to commit to you? What is it about you that's going to make a man sign up and say, yeah, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with this person. See, when I met Natalie, there were specific things about her that made me fall in love and want to be with her. Okay. She was the right lid for my pot. You know, she just wasn't a good fit for other people. Okay. But she was perfect for me and what I was looking for. And so you don't have to change. You don't have to be something that you're not. Just be the best you that you can be, that you can be because you rock. And the right guy, when he comes along, will recognize it, just like I recognized it with Natalie. So one of the things I see women do all the time is, is what should I do? What should I say? You know, how should I be? And I just say, simply be the best you and live from that place and know it. See, because if you don't know it and you do things to catch a guy or to force him to want to be with you, guys are going to pick up on that. They pick on them. They pick up on that really, really quick. So the bigger question is that why is a man specifically going to commit to you? And the answer to that is you simply being the best you you can be. And when the right guy comes along again, he's going to recognize it. He's going to appreciate it. And he's going to want to be with you because he's going to see how great a value you're going to be to his life. And that works two ways, of course. As always, I hope this resonated with you. Hope it struck a chord. But if you've got any questions or comments, feel free to send them to us. I'd love to address them, maybe even turn, turn them into a future blog. We'll see you next time. God bless.